Hi guys, it is 6.45 in the morning. I have a pretty eventful day. I'm gonna try and videotape some stuff and put up a video of my own and Robert Bodiger and I have discussed doing another video at Fair and Forge. I have got to do heat treat and grind a couple of neck knives. Maybe there'll be some video of that, but let's hit the road. All right guys, I tried to record a little bit of footage for you um, in slow motion, but my slow motion camera really didn't work. I got stuff in heat treat oven. I got one of these ground. I'm gonna grind this one. I'm probably gonna try and grind this blade here. Let's go back and see what Mr. Bodiger is doing. See what our crazy little Marine is up to. What you up to, Marine? I'm uh, working on a Zero Megalodon. Uh, Let me. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be in the video later. But this is just kind of what's going on in the shop today. So, yeah. right now. So, you did a Scotch Bright Orange Peel and now you're polishing? Yeah, polishing her up. And then uh, got something special after this, actually. So, this is just one process. I'm not too crazy about shiny, so this is actually just uh, just one step in the process I'm ultimately going for. It's going to be more. That's one of these. It's one of these. We're going to do a video about this one. This is one of uh, Robert's full customs. Old Gen 2 Megalodon. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. There's always something cool to find up here. Anyway, yep, just letting you guys kind of know what's going on today. I gotta get that to 2200, and then two cycles of 1000 in that one. You guys know, I've done videos about heat treat before. All right, guys, later. Color in brass. That's going to be unique, though. Think though. Mm. Robert, is this your favorite game in the shop? Uh, you know, the fucking favorite is. Trying, trying to find that little itty bitty pin that you made uh -huh. for that knife that you dropped. Oh, yeah. It's great. It's fantastic. You probably fell into the fucking abyss where my hopes and dreams are. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably down in that hole right yeah, there. Yeah, it'd be fucking great, right? It's just an itty bitty little pin that needs needs to be on that bolster, huh? It's, it's got to be in there. It's got to be in there, or it's gonna spin. You gotta add on to this to put this in the video. Yeah, um, so yeah, didn't didn't we find it once, yeah. and then you immediately uh, dropped it? I don't know and this, I don't know this wee person, but I found it. Well, I was looking, and then I dropped it, and then you immediately dropped it. I was like immediately. In my defense, I wasn't holding it with my fingers. I was holding it with tweezers. Like I said, I, not the first time you've ever said that. I am not going to deny that. Okay, Did you finally get put together? Uh, it's, it's not my dick in my hand this time. Sweetness. 
No, we never found the pin. He had to make another one. Got to do what you got to do. Megalodon. Ooh, the dressiest one I've done. I say that's probably the fanciest Megalodon I've seen so far. Come out of your custom knives. Hey guys, so I know you saw the beginning of the video, but what we're gonna throw in on this is I'm finally gonna get around to actually doing a review, my daughter just ran through the living room, of Robert's uh, original full custom, his original Megalodon, the version one. This is the very first one he ever made. Um, he made it titanium, titanium and carbon fiber, fiber construction. Um, and for a first knife, not, not necessarily his first knife, but like the first full on fancy custom knife that he made, it came out really well. Um, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, can stop. As a matter of fact, um, his grind on this, as far as I can tell is as dead center as you're going to get it coming from any other custom knife maker. Um, this knife is really awesome. It has an extremely thin, for as big as it is, thin profile up near the, the blade. Um, it is really, really slicey. Uh, D2 steel. Uh, he made this one out of D2. Uh, I think all of his new ones are being made out of... Hang on just a had second. To take, had to take the squeaky toy from the dog. It was driving me nuts. Um, yeah, so uh, he did a black ceramic coating on this. Um, really 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 well done um like i said before i don't necessarily like liner locks but robert did a really good job on this liner lock uh it comes down and it's the liner on it's fairly thick uh as you can see lock up on it's really good no blade play um i've got the pivot i might have to tighten the pivot up because i think i got the pivot a little bit loose there's no blade play this way but i think i've gotten I think playing around with it, I've gotten a little bit of blade play in it. But, you know, it's just a matter of tightening the pivot. Um, he went to Bob Trezula's shop uh, here a couple months ago, I think, and Bob taught him how to cut in jimping. There's a, the, the way that Bob does it. Um, we're really lucky. Uh, in our area, we have Bob Trezula and Farron Forge Knife Works, um, and th those guys are a wealth of knowledge and, and willing to give it for free give you lessons and teach you things for free. I, I do help out at Elliot's with what I can because I, I use equipment and abrasives and I'm not making a lot of money right now, so I help out a little bit. But yeah, we're, we're lucky that we have that. Uh, Robert has learned stuff, a lot of stuff from Farron Forge and some stuff from, from Bob Trezula because he's here in San Diego now. Um, the D2 steel on this, um, I sharpened this for him. It took a extremely nice edge. D2, I've said it in other videos, D2 steel does not need as fine a grit to get as good, a, get a really super high polish. Um, I, I've done knives at 2000 grit and had them look like a mere polish. Um, this is really well balanced. Uh, your balance points right there at the bolster. Hardware. Now, you can see how tight he got that. Now, we, we've, he and I have talked about it before. He had a little hiccup on this one, but, you know, hey, still learning. Um, he was still learning when he made this one. His new knives. He just posted a video. You should go over to his channel and check it out. He's, it's Robert Bodiger. Um, I'm going to post it in the comments. You really need to check out. Um, he did his first YouTube video. Um, as many of you guys as possible, go over and, and take a look at what he's doing. Uh, he's got a knife that just went up for auction and the auction actually just closed an hour ago. I'm just getting around to this Mother's Day. I've been busy and we were all tired and we kind of just laid around. I haven't even gotten a hold of my mother yet today. Um, yeah, it's Mother's Day. Go do something for your mom. Um, I made my mother a Timascus pendant. I had a piece of scrap Timascus, a little square piece that was in my box floating around. I had thought about doing some stuff and I made a pendant for, maybe I'll throw a picture of it in there at the end. That's something I can do if you guys I, I've done a, a couple Timascus pendants. They're pretty cool looking. I've done round ones. I've done a, just did a diamond one for my mother. And, um, 
but no, back to back to Robert's knife. Uh, sculpted pocket clip, nice and deep. I actually carried this in slacks. It is with the carbon fiber. It's it's light enough. It's not uncomfortable to carry in a pair of pants, but where it really carries well, to tell you the truth, um, in the waistband of a pair of pants. Just above, on the right-hand side, uh, above the pocket where it sits, would sit like that. Not uncomfortable, sits right along the line of the hip real well. It's very comfortable to carry. His newer, um, his new Megalodons, have got a little bit of a different blade design. When you go over his channel, he's gonna have a video of that one and you'll see it. The cutout here is not as big and the the drop of the point is a lot more pronounced, but the blade design is pretty much the same. Flipper tab's a little bit different. Um, it does, it looks like a great big giant shark, the Megalodon. He names his after prehistoric predators and I name my knives after venomous creatures like the Hornet, uh, fixed blade fighter and my neck knives. I have another knife that I'm designing and it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'll show you the what I've got going here. I had a guy ask me if I could design a nautical theme knife. Turns out this guy is a volunteer crewman on the Star of India, which is the oldest sailing ship in the world, currently sailing. This was given to me for handle material, for a nautical themed knife. This, this is Fordfish Bill. Don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. Still thinking of a design, haven't quite got there yet. Uh, and I have a friend, I have a friend that was mine, a friend of mine in the Navy that has asked me to do a skinning knife and a boning knife for him. I'm gonna have to find some more steel. I am currently out of metal, so, um, this, like I said, is an awesome knife. Um, go check Robert out on Instagram. I really like this knife. I've always liked it. He's making me one. Mine's going to be the version two. Uh, but he's going to make one for me, and mine's going to be titanium handles with 45 casings, 45 ACP casings in it. Like you saw in the video that he and I did together uh, here. There's... Um, there's a lot of uh, stuff coming up that Robert's doing that I'm gonna try and get some video of it. And you've already seen us playing the least favorite game in the shop, which is looking for parts on the floor. So, all right guys, I'm gonna cut this because I already got like seven minutes of video in front of this. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on mine. Um, the one he made was really, really gorgeous. I watched him uh, heat coloring the hardware. So it's all unique. Everything he makes is unique. There is no one that is ever going to be the same as the last one. Um, even though he's gotten to where he's starting to make multiple knives the same version, they're all, like I was looking at it, he's got them all measured out and then a thickness and all that stuff for bearing pockets. And Each one's going to be a little bit different. I, I, I resisted the urge to pick up parts and move them around and screw with him um, because I know he's he's got like nine knives he's trying to make before he goes back to Texas to see his family for family reunion. Um, I have currently... five of my Viper neck knives that are available. Um, some of you guys have already bought them. They're awesome. They're really great. I, mine is in the bedroom. I use mine a lot and carry it. Um, I will do a video about that later. Um, Patreon, like I said, you guys that subscribe to Patreon get a discount on sharpening. Sharpening service has been going good this month. It's been the only money I've made this month. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to cut this, edit it together. I will talk to you all later. You guys have a good Mother's Day. Be good to your mom. Make sure you call. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time.